But anyway, today, I will share about a lady. She was very reluctant to be put in the spotlight, so it took a lot, a lot of persuading. Finally, she relented when I said that we all have a duty to share about how God has touched our lives. And she had to agree because she's none other than my wife. <laughs> May has uh, found a new hobby in nature photography, especially birds. She's found, discovered a new joy in looking for and capturing pictures of birds and many of the wildlife in Singapore. And some of the pictures she takes are really quite amazing. Maybe I'm a bit biased, but let's see them. Next one. Nice. Next one. And next one. Well, this one can be a bit uh, obscure. This was taken in Singapore, but from a distance, sometimes you, I, I, it took me quite some time before she could point it out to me. Then I finally saw it. And then the next one. Uh, this one's not a bird. <laughs> in, in case you're mistaken. It just looks very nice. It was taken in, near our neighborhood. In fact, many of the pictures, some of the pictures were taken uh, in our neighborhood. And we had never seen so many birds and wild creatures before. Did these birds and wild creatures just suddenly appear? No, they were always there. But with a new heightened sensitivity, she, not me, she can now easily spot them. And she can even distinguish the, the calls of some of the birds as well. In other words, um, my wife has started seeing and hearing things. <laughs> it's as if she had new eyes to see and new ears to hear. Many of the things which were invisible and inaudible to her have now become very real. But the greatest wonder has been her new eyes and ears and heightened sensitivity to God's word. Very often, after the messages in morning worship service, in Sunday school, she finds herself in tears as she's touched by the message. She's found new joy and new discovery in reading, meditating on God's word and sharing them with her friends. It's as if she had new eyes and ears to hear and see God's messages to her too. You know, to me as a husband, this has been a tremendous source of encouragement to me and it's really impacted me very much. And it has definitely helped me in my own walk with God. Let us turn to our first hymn. Sanctuary Praise 334, Open my eyes that I may see and pray that God may be able to open our eyes and our ears and illumine us with His Spirit Divine. 